Hi, I'm Julia and in this video I will show you how to import users into Joomla and Community Builder component. To make import, we should have an installed import extension and Excel file with users. And we will need to go through several steps. File upload, setting up import process, preview and import. File upload step is quite simple. We just need to click on the Upload button and select our Excel or CSV file. Now we are ready to go to the next step. On the Setup step, we see a preview of the uploaded file, so we can make sure that the user's data have been read properly. Now we need to decide which users we want to import, only new users, or maybe we also want to update data of the existing users. So, if your file contains information about existing users, enable this option as well. There are two ways you can specify Joomla groups. The first way is to simply select groups in this drop-down, and the second way is to specify groups directly in the Excel file. Next, what we need to set up is to match columns from the Excel file with the actual Joomla and Community Builder fields. For this, we will use sandwich icon. And here you can see all Joomla and Community Builder fields. And because column A contains names of users, we should match it with the Joomla name field. In the same way, we should match all columns that we want to import. Very important to remember that only columns we have matched are going to be imported. All our columns are going to be skipped. Below we can see a few more settings like password. By default option generate passwords is active and it means that passwords for all new users will be created automatically. But if you have a password column in your Excel file and you match it like this, two other options will become available. If passwords in file are plain, then select second option, plain password. And if you are migrating from another Joomla, passwords and file are going to be encrypted. Advanced settings allow you to adjust import process to fit some specific requirements. For example, you can request users to change their password after next login. Or you can block all users that aren't listed in the Excel file. You can also download successfully imported users along with their passwords on the last step. By default, import allows to create several users with the same email address. So, if you want email to be unique, just enable this option. There is also a possibility to email users about their registration and provide them with usernames and passwords. We can email only new users or already existing ones or email both at the same time. Ok, looks like everything is set up and we are ready to go to the next step. On preview, Excel file is being read and compared with the already existing users. Meanwhile, on the right side, we can look through all import settings for the last time to make sure that everything is set up properly. Ok, preview is ready and we see Three tabs. The Users tab contains users who are going to be imported the very first time. On the second tab, we can find a list of existing users who are going to be updated with the new data from file. And on the last tab, we can see users who are going to be skipped during the import process due to some issues. To find out the reason, just click on the question mark. From my perspective, Preview step looks great, so I am ready to start the import process. Importing users usually takes from 1 to 5 minutes, however, it can take 10 minutes or more if you have thousands of users in your file. Mostly, performance depends on the web hosting plan you have. The more performance you have bought from your hosting provider, the faster import is going to be completed. Great, the import process is complete and we can see a report of how many users have been imported. 
And the last thing I want to check today is whether Community Builder members are really inverted. As I remember, we should have 290 users. Imported users are fully functional and they can use all features provided by Joomla and Community Builder. And there is no difference between imported user and user registered for website. If you have any questions or suggestions, you can write them in the comment section below or contact me through contact form on our website. I hope that you liked this video and it will save you a lot of time. Thank you for watching and have a nice day!